Right, okay. What's down here? We've been here before, but like... It's the same memory zone. Like, it looks the same. But I'm wondering if, like, if anything's different to it outside. No, I guess not. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. Yeah. I don't know what that time means. Yeah, I wonder what that time means. Yes, I have to go down. Okay. Began the first collectible. Back then, oh, yeah, we had no true. idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Wait, seven out of six? Whoa. And here was a second Stan Lorene. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the warehouse. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. <laughs> Eight out of six. Let's go. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Under the stairs. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here under the stairs. It was the third one. You picked it up and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Nine out of six. Let's see, what came next? Uh... Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's no, here never in the been in this room. zone, so it must have happened. We've never been here before. I've never seen this room in my life. Yeah, this that was the fifth mini stand. And yeah. this one was really something special. It was in the boss's bathroom. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh my god. <laughs> this is this is so great! <laughs> oh, it is! It is the fifth one, yes! That has like... 
that has like early like around the time of the release of world of warcraft uh vibes in the editing like like i remember i remember videos back, of world of warcraft it? dances like races dances videos, with that kind of editing minutes, with the blue screen and the text on, on anything it. else so that it's it's it, it was like what like uh 2000 what five or six something whenever that came out oh yeah this And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here behind the boss's office. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. I love that it says 12 out of six. You are in the present. And then there was no more because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Oh my God. Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some <laughs> way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. What, for real? <laughs> That's so okay, dumb! Yes, the back of the boss's office. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. 13 out of That's so dumb. Wait, how many times are we going to do this? Did I hear a door? And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love that video. Wow, that was great. Do you remember the video and then like he plays it again? Oh, that's so good. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. That is so dumb. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Oh, wait. What if I go here this time? I can't. Okay. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. Dude, I'm at 17 out of 6. That's so stupid. I keep wondering what's down there. Like... I really wish there was a way to get down there and, and like, crouch under that door, the B door that's open. Next 
This is it, the very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Uh... Oh, the exhibit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey, it's Potato! What's up, are you Look, doing? It's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. But time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. I get more memories. It's potato. What is your... F Speaking of potatoes... So what is your... What what is your thought on this? Your favorite condiment? Oh, yes, the two doors. Oh, Who we're back here. That? A classic memory, this one. Can I be get shot? Oh my god! Oh wait, they, they do the same thing. Okay. Oh, and I'm back in my office. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything You're else? a potato? Was there something that came before your Yes. Office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. The menu? Is it the menu? Before yes. the... I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy and I came up with, well, huh? came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back <laughs> to how it used to be. Good yes, point, Potato. Good point. I can be point. on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Wait, retire okay. him? Here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. D don't retire me. <laughs> Ketchup, I love it. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Can't close that door. Okay. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Oh, he doesn't have the, 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 the figurine stuff anymore. Answers. Yeah, that makes sense. Because we, we cleared it. Your doors, your doors open both ways. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet <laughs> simply because I have no remaining. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. So there was something I wanted to do upstairs. Two things, actually. Um, and then we'll, we'll try downstairs afterwards. We'll try to go back downstairs. 
So, one thing I haven't tried is closing these doors. I can't? Can I? Stepping in. Wait, is that? Hold, hold on. <gasps> yes. Wait, was that an actual thing? Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Is the game just glitched? Or like... Uh... Wait, this is not the same door. Is it the same door? Can I walk backwards to my to my desk? Like What happens with wait, did I just break the game? There are two names for a baby bucket, a buckling or a pail. Very cool. <laughs> okay. Wait, this wasn't there before. New, new content? Was it? When I got here earlier with the bucket? No, 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 because when we started this, um, this run, we didn't have this room. That room wasn't there, like we, it was just a corridor. Oh, I can't close that one. Huh? Hey, John Claude, what's up? How are you doing? The Stanley Carter parable? <laughs> Wait, four to eight? You're now leaving? Escape pod? Uh... What in the world? It goes up again. It pales in comparison. Oh wow, John Claude, how are you doing? What is your what is your uh, thoughts on ketchup? I, I want I want to know. What do you feel about ketchup? I feel like ketchup shouldn't be put on anything. Outside of human flesh strips, apparently. Wait, Fort? Am I just going around in circles? No, 758. It's the same desk, but the number seven five eight is higher. Yeah, I'm 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 still going up. It's just the same seven five nine seven sixty escape pod launch bay.
<laughs> That's the dumbest thing, bucket. <laughs> Oh my god, wait. Oh, I have to do this again, but without the bucket. Because usually there's like a... There's a couple different endings, right? So like... I, should, I, should, I could probably do this gone. again without the bucket. What could it so have to figure out, like... Stanley decided to go to the meeting oh, room. There it Perhaps is. he had simply missed a memo. So, okay, so we, we need to uh, keep and putting stuff, though. <gasps> the bucket's gone? Like, for good, it's gone? What? Oh no! But it's my bucket! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But, but my bucket though! Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley I'm, walked I'm, upstairs to his boss's office. I'm coming, Bucket. I'm coming. I'm getting the same thing. Okay, so we walk in and out, right? Stepping in. There we go. So we, 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 we will take the escape pod. We'll, we'll reunite with our friend, the bucket. Hang tight, Bucket. Yeah, it's 760. It said so at the very, very start. It said 760, like, on the panel. Oh, my God. A dog killed my bucket. Only I am allowed to murder my own bucket. We've murdered it once before. <laughs> We've actually killed it before. Okay, let's go. Let's do a heist, guys. Wait. Wait. Oh. To heaven? Wait, what do I do here? Did he 
completed a large portion of your progress? Wait, for real? Oh, I can just like turn these. They're all buttons. Side up again. <laughs> Congrats, Stanley. Everyone thinks you're very powerful. So, what do I do? Do I just leave? Y'all do nothing, so I just have to like do begin the game again. Is that the only way to get out? Yes. Okay. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. I'm looking over my shoulder. I'm not seeing anybody. The bucket is back. But wait, does that mean that like I did I did I cancel out so, like something else with the escape pod? That the escape pod ending? Did I did I mess it up because I pressed the button on the input thingy? Yeah, I did. What do you mean it's not my bucket? That's a replacement, but it says it says property of Stanley though. So I mean it should still be my bucket. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. One thing we haven't done is actually follow the instructions exactly. Yet there was not a single person here either. Pretty sure we never we never Feeling followed all the instructions. Disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. That makes sense. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. Is it what still 2845? Be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Eight. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know. You know that was that an the achievement. That's crazy. Was two, eight, four, five. Two eight four five. I never actually entered two eight four five. I think I've always missed a round. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing! 
he stepped into the newly opened passageway. Yeah, I never followed the instructions. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and follow. Yeah, eight. I got the achievement though. I got a trophy. 